friend welcome to my youtube channel this is ajit kumar and in this video we will add this virtual machine in a availability set so basically i have a ability set available but uh, we want to add this vm in ability set so as you can see here in the ability there is no ability set is available so in this video we will add the existing vm in the ability set so for that if you go to the microsoft website there is a documentation available where the powershell script is mentioned there so basically we will we will use that so let me show you the ability set which we have created so this is the ability set on which we will add this vm my vm okay so now i'm going to the powershell script and let me show you so this is the first one you need to connect with the as an account after that you need to select the subscription here you need to mention the ability set if you already have so in my case i have already have a existing ability set here i'm going to mention that name here you need to mention the resource group name so i'm going to changing this so here you need to mention the vm name so my the vm is okay so now i'm going to connect the azure account okay you can see here i logged in my account using my account now i'm going to choose my ability set so in case you don't have uh, ability set created you just follow this script and create a new ability set if it is does not exist in your resource group okay so i am going to i have selected my ability set name now i am going to the set the variable like resource group vm name and the ability set id okay now i am going to get the detail run the another command to get the detail so basically it will remove the existing vm and uh, will create a new vm in the same uh, same nick and with the same configuration which are having the earlier one so make sure you are performing in the of business hours so let me show you so this is the vm once we run the script it will remove so now i am going to run this script to remove the virtual machine so as you can see here we are getting an option to specify which will remove the specific specified virtual machine now i am going to select the yes so now as you can see here the meme is not more available as you can see here So now I'm going to refresh this. As you can see here, VM is not available. Now I'm going to mention to recreate the basic configuration. So actually, I have missed uh, to mention the uh, seed OS disk. So let me check actually the docs uh, the disks will not delete it so i'm going to the resource group and will check the disk so these are the disks was attached earlier so i am going to the worst disk and going to the properties i'm going to copy that here you need to mention the OS disk 
properties which is basically manage disk id okay and if you are having a, a data disk available you can add here so in my case i have a data disk available so this is the uh, data disk now i'm going to the properties I'm going to copy that here you need to mention the id okay so now i'm going to add the os disk make sure you fill uh, all the details prior to run this uh, script and we'll take a snapshot for uh, os disk as well for safe site so as you can see here my os disk is selected now i'm going to run the for the data disk attachment there was some now i'm going to rerun this again so now here uh, we are getting an option to mention the run name so now i'm going to mention the zero so basically it will create in a run zero so as you can see here a data disk is attached now finally i'm going to add this vm with the same configuration and as you can see here there is another command to recreate the vm so now i am going to run this basically it will take uh, 5 to 10 minutes to create recreate the virtual machine in the same resource group so as you can see here th this is the warning we found so generally uh, it's for the boot diagnostics there is a uh, new storage account created for the boot diagnostics so if you added a uh, storage account in your boot diagnostic there will no any uh, storage account will be created so in my case i don't have the storage account uh, attached means uh, assigned associated that's why so as you can see here the command is run successfully now i'm going to the virtual machine and we'll check the virtual machine is available or not so the ability says set so as you can see here now the vm is created and it's having the uh step test running and as you can see the fault domain and update domain is created and the virtual machine name uh step test is one available now i'm going to the virtual machine and we'll check the disk so as you can see here the disk this is c disk uh, os disk and along with the data disk is available okay so if you go to the ability and the scaling you will get the ability set name so this is all about how do we can add uh, existing uh, virtual machine in ability set so hope this video is really helpful to you please subscribe my channel and like this video thank you so much